So yesterday we first told you about the plan to slow a salt water intrusion that could affect drinking water for thousands. Well, today we have an update on how that construction is going. Morgan Lentis from our sister station in Louisiana has the details. You could say this stretch of the Mississippi River near Naomi, Louisiana, is really the front lines of that fight against saltwater intrusion. This is the spot where the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is building that underwater sill. This is designed to slow it down. There is no mistaking the mission of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, stall a saltwater wedge moving up the Mississippi River. But that task is a mighty one. Saltwater is heavier than freshwater, meaning it rides along the riverbed. So what's been happening lately is we haven't had enough flow from the Mississippi River coming downstream to prevent the salt water from coming upstream. Prompting the Corps to install a sill or levee which will sit 30 feet below the water's surface. It will act as a barrier to that low-line salt water, buying communities upriver 10 to 15 days before higher salinity levels reach their drinking supply. So all of this work is essentially being done to protect fresh water intakes upstream of here. If we didn't build this, Bell Chase would be threatened, then St. Bernard Parish, then Orleans Parish, then Jefferson Parish. It's important to remember that while all this work going on behind me is important, it only buys us time. What we really need to solve the problem is prolonged rain upriver. Without a, you know, a major tropical system, without the precipitation pattern changing in the basin, um, this may be a more prolonged event um, relative to previous ones. Meaning other mitigation measures are needed. The Corps' goal is to barge in 36 million gallons of fresh water to impacted communities every day. I asked if they're ready to sustain larger cities like New Orleans as that saltwater wedge continues its march up the Mississippi. I can tell you there's daily coordination meetings. We've been participating in the mayoral meetings, meetings with Jefferson Parish, meetings with FEMA. Um, and kind of all hands on deck to try and figure this out multiple ways.